On tonight's In Focus, the Bemidji community's effort is to instill creativity among school children through watercolor art. Our reporter Brenda Mack has more on the watercolor art exhibit. I like that you can draw anything you want. Diana Wells and her sister found their love for art in class. And Ryanna's favorite part about it is she's constantly learning new techniques, this time in watercolor art. I grab your paintbrush and drop it at the end and let it tilt it. There are two out of many students chosen to display their art piece at the Bemidji's Watercolor Art Show. I was just amazed at what they do. You know, I couldn't believe that my kids did that. The exhibit is a collaborative effort within the community that includes artist Judith Selby, Hope House, and the Little Flowers Group at St. Philip's Church. I was so impressed with the kids and their involvement in the art world. You have to have their attention, you have to make it fun, you have to um, give clear instructions and help them when they need assistance. Some parents have stressed the importance of art involvement in their children's life. They also say it has fostered a stronger bond within their family. You know, just to have them come home with their art projects, you know, makes me feel good. Parents and teachers say art is an opportunity for self-discovery, even at a young age. And exhibits like these further encourage children to work creatively. Art is a form of creation, and I think that everybody has their own signature blueprint and artistic talent somewhere. I'm really proud of them and I will continue to encourage them to paint and sculpt and do those things. It's so important. The exhibit will be displayed throughout the month of April. For In Focus, Brenda Mack, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.